Greetings, welcome back to Pink Odd Bird. Today I'm here to share a recap of the May journal prompts with you. So what we did for May and the new prompts for June. So I'm gonna set this aside and let's go ahead and get started. So just before we get started, I, I would like to say that I hope everyone is staying safe and doing well, especially with everything that's going on in the world currently a lot of dark times. And so, um, I hope that, um, you know, you're doing what you can to just try and stay positive as much as possible and do your part to make changes where you would like to see them. Um, also I know we're just doing our little journal prompts here, but I hope that even if you're not journaling every day, or if you're not motivated to craft or create, um, I hope that at least these little prompts that we do on a monthly basis will uh, try and help you uh, cope or find some kind of uh, bright light among the darkness. And um, I know I make a lot of books that are dark and I make them for that reason because uh, not everything is always flowers. So, you know, when we have our happy time books, we write in those. And then when we have moments when you want to write other things that you might want to compartmentalize separately. Um, that's why I make the kind of books that I make and I will continue to do so. So, um, all we can just do right now is just hope that things get better and things change and, uh, we can keep moving forward from there. So let's go ahead and dig into May. So for May, I have my little May greeting that I did here on the first page as always with a little um, start of the month prompt or not the prompt, but you know, the little cover page. <laughs> so day one is here. Use some of your paper fabric or book page scraps to make a color block page. So I just had a couple of scraps that were sitting next to me on the table. And so that's exactly what I did. I just used some book pages. I used my deckled scissors to just make it look torn. And then I just created little blocks of um, scraps there. So day two is yes, queen, make a crown and decorate it. So obviously <laughs> I used some black scraps that I had here. And then I just cut them into this shape and I made a little crown and I found some little rhinestones on the ground one day in my craft area. So I was like, oh, I'll just stick those in my book. So um, that's my crown. Day three, what is your favorite, what is one of your favorite movie quotes? And this one was hard because I have a lot of movie quotes that I was thinking about and that I wanted to add and to use. <laughs> but ultimately, and I think I might have added this quote to my Halloween um, journal. I think we had a similar prompt before, if I'm not mistaken, but I myself am strange and unusual. But like I said, there were tons that I wanted to use. Um, so maybe next time we'll have another prompt like that. <laughs> Day four, use two things you love that are vintage. I had gotten these items recently as extra goodies from um, a lady whose shop that I buy from and she sent me this little vintage card as an extra and this little little brown jug syrup label I think is really cute and I have her like business info back there and then this little um, I think this might be one of those little cards that falls out falls out of like a, a magazine or something. Um, but yeah, so I put three things in there. <laughs> so here in the little doily area, I just wrote a little blurb in there. And then day five, draw, write, paint, or color something with your opposite hand. So I'm obviously left-handed. So here I wrote my right hand with my right hand. And then I just, I didn't know what to write, so I just rewrote the prompt for the day. So it says, um, draw, write, paint, or color something with your opposite hand in regular writing. And then I redid the same quote or prompt in handwriting. <laughs> and then here it is with my left hand, same thing. So that is my right hand versus my left hand. So day number six. Um, draw the last three emojis that you used. So <laughs> these, these are 
definitely frequently used. And there, the other one is like the stunned face where the eyes are just like stunned. That's probably the other emoji that I use the most, but these are highly used. This one is one of my favorites too. And the stunned. <laughs> so those are my last three I had used on that day. And then day seven, make a page filled with animals. You can use digital images, magazine clippings, or book pages, things like that. So I decided to use stickers from my antiquarian sticker book. And I chose some of the images like because they looked kind of like crazy or something. I have a little raven there, a cobra, this crazy little cat, squirrel because squirrel. Um, a little rooster and then the bear because um, reminded me of California and then I like this little cat because he looks shook so that is the end of May so we're ready to start digging into the month of June so I'm gonna move this aside and let's go over the June prompts so for the month of June I Again, I was trying to do something that was a little bit more lighthearted and not so like reflective and things like that. So um, we're going to be doing more things that are a little bit more fun, kind of like we did for May and using up more things in your stash. So day one, draw or write something with glue. Use any medium you would like if you want to create a standout image like glitter, foil, seed beads, etc. So um, it's kind of like what we did like when we used to write um, our names on Christmas hats in glue and then you throw glitter on it. Same kind of idea. Day number two. Uh, on and on. Use this page to create one big connected run-on sentence. Get creative with your writing pattern. This is one of my favorite things to do and I actually do this in journals that I make um, quite often. Um, so that's like one of my favorite things to do. So I think that'd be a fun day just to fill up a little page with a big sentence. <laughs> and day number three, let's make a swatch page. Use paper, fabric, markers, paints, washi, anything that you would like to create a page filled with swatches. That's pretty explanatory. Day number four, got stickers. Do you have stickers that you purchased to use and never used? Good, now's the time to use them make a sticker page. Day number five, use something in your stash to make a rainbow. It does not have to be a traditional rainbow colors, just have fun. Day number six, open a dictionary and randomly point to a word. Write the definition to that word and a short blurb about the word. So I think that would be kind of fun. Um, and I think a little extra bonus would be as if you don't know the word, try and incorporate it in your vocabulary. Day number seven, doodle a border and inside of the border, write a song lyric backwards. So I guess in my mind, I was probably picturing like some doodling or maybe like a frame kind of around the page. And then just to make it fun, um, writing a song lyric backwards. So, and then we have our little June little piece that you can add into your prompts for the month of June. So those are the prompts and I hope you guys are still having fun with this. We're halfway through the year, uh, about, and so, um, you know, that means we've got six more, uh, prompt weeks to go for this year. So moving along. Um, I hope you guys are all having fun with these and I always keep my eyes out for when and if you guys post these and use the hashtag oddflock2020 either on YouTube, Instagram, or Facebook and I will be able to see what you guys are up to. So that is going to wrap it up for me for now. Be sure to stay tuned because you never know what direction this odd flock of ours is heading into and until next time. Toodaloo.